Hello everybody, my name is ShrimpyPagX, and today I'm going to be showcasing a mod that I have made, which I believe makes chainmail armor an actually useful piece of gear, or at least um, gives it more of a place in Minecraft's progression system. Before, you know, you find chainmail armor maybe rarely in a chest or on mobs if you're in hard mode, and you're like, okay, cool, I found one. But once you get iron armor, you know, chainmail, this super rare armor, becomes completely worthless. And that's what I've decided to fix by making this mod. Now, the main focus of this mod is, of course, this scale mail armor. I consider the scale mail armor to be sort of the netherite of the end, even though it's a bit more of a unique idea than that. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to make this armor and ex what exactly this armor does, because it's not like other kinds of armor. It has some unique properties which I think you're really going to think are cool. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you how you're going to need to make this armor. Now to make this armor, you're going to need three main materials. Dragon scales, leather, and of course, chainmail armor. The stuff you're going to want to upgrade into this brand new armor. Now of course you know how to obtain chainmail and leather. It's simple enough. Chainmail you can find on mobs in hard mode, and of course you can also find it in chest places. Uh, leather you can just farm from a cow. But dragon scales you're going to need to come here to the end to find. Now the main way you're going to want to find these scales is these new structures known as the end bunkers. The The lore behind these is sort of that there were hunters which existed in the end long ago and they have since abandoned these structures where they once dwelled. Now the structure appears just like this, you're going to need to break in since there's no natural way in, uh, but once you're inside you're going to see two chests and in here is where you're going to find the loot. You can find various things like iron nuggets, ender pearls, some leather if you need, but most importantly you're going to find these dragon scales. You can also find scale mail sheets here, but we'll go over what those are later. It's actually pretty rare finding two of these in the same chest. But anyways, there's also a second way you can attain these scales, and that is if you locate an end city, specifically one with this ship over here, uh, you can grab this dragon head and craft it into six scales. Now once you have the scales and the leather you need, you can craft these scales. Four in, four of them in a crafting grid with leather, it is completely shapeless so it doesn't have to be like this, but then you get these scale mail sheets, of which you can also find in those bunkers as before. Once you have attained four scale mail sheets, surround your piece of chain mail with them, and you will get your scale mail armor. Now, other than its incredible texture, what is so special about uh, scale mail armor? Well, instead of having simply, you know, extra armor points or knockback resistance, each piece of armor has a unique power that it gives you when you wear it. The armor itself is uh, not quite as good as diamond. It's better than iron, so it's worth getting. However, it does give 1.5 armor toughness, so it is definitely much better than a regular old set of iron. It's also more enchantable too. Now. As I said before, each piece of armor has its own special ability that it grants the player when worn. The scale mail helmet grants an ability I call Ender Iris, which is basically just permanent night vision as long as you have it on. This can be very useful if you don't want to use potions, and it'll free up your inventory space more if you want to be able to see clearly in the dark. And of course, if you take it off, the night vision, uh, you can see it's sort of flashing there. It slowly goes away. But as you can see, it goes away after about 10 seconds, and it is a very useful uh, particular thing to have on a helmet. The chest plate grants probably one of the coolest abilities in my opinion. I call it Dragon Wing. Basically, when you wear it, you can see that when you crouch, you gain the slow falling effect as long as you are crouched. Now you're going to want to probably use this like wisely, since as you can see, it eats up its durability like crazy as long as it's used. So you're going to want to do something like this, where you crouch a few times and you utilize the extra hangover of the effect to get the full movement without losing too much durability, which is a big problem with the chest, chest plate. Of course, you're probably going to want to use the uh, Elytra on it instead of the chest plate, which is why it has such a debuff. The leggings grant you speed, but not all the time. It grants you speed when you are sprinting, as you can see. It grants you speed too as you are sprinting, and when you stop sprinting, the effect goes away almost immediately. And it doesn't actually take away the durability like Dragon Wing does. It is just a natural effect that is applied to you every time you sprint. Overall, pretty cool. Uh, the final set of armor, the boots, grants another very interesting effect, of which I'm going to need to go into survival mode to showcase properly. Now that we are in survival mode, you're going to see that I have the armor on, yep. And when I jump, I take fall damage just like normal. That's not changed. However, if you take more and more damage, as you can see I am now below 4 hearts, and you're going to start seeing something different now that I am at 4 hearts or below. You don't take any fall damage. When you are wearing the boots, you do not take any fall damage if you are at 4 hearts or lower. But you can see that most of the time all fall damage is completely reduced, you are in no danger of dying when falling, as you can see. But anyway, overall I am pretty happy with 
how that came out, and with all of the armor, really. But anyway, uh, that's about it, actually. It's a very small mod, uh, mainly just to give Chainmail an extra use and give some more reason to go to the end. If you guys have any ideas for how I can improve this, or if you notice any bugs when you're playing with it, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. The link to download this mod, if you would like to use it, is in the description. Currently, it is only supporting 1.15.2. However, once mCreator updates and allows for 1.16 support, I will absolutely update it to that version. However, if there don't seem to be any other problems with this update, I will not update it any further than this. This is all that the mod is going to be. However, there are a few things I am going to fix, such as the fact that the chest plate uh, reduces durability when crouching, even when you're in creative mode, which I'm going to change. Uh, but other than that, the mod is pretty much complete, and if you guys would like to play with it, feel free to download it. Let me know what you think. That's just about going to do it for this video. I know it was pretty short, but I wanted to showcase the mod that I had made, and uh, because I think it came out pretty well, and I think it would mm, give me a lot of views. <laughs> That's about all I have for today. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and without further ado, I guess I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.